Hey guys, Alice Mage here, and I want to do a quick vlog because I haven't uploaded in like five days, and I feel pressured to upload because I don't know. That's just kind of how my channel works, and I'm in the midst of doing homework. Look at this awesome shit! Isn't it amazing? So. One of the things I want to talk about is if you have a class where you can't understand the professor or read what he's writing, what do you do? Because that's kind of like an awful place to be in and that's where I am right now on my grad course. That's a semester long when nothing in my school is a semester long. My grammar's crooked. I'm not going to fix that. You guys can just deal with me being tilted on slant. I don't know slang. I'm sorry. But yeah, anyways. My best advice is to... It's not even good advice, I'm sorry. But if you have a textbook that goes with the class, use that to teach yourself. Find friends in the class that might understand him. Maybe they don't, but maybe understand material. Even if not, find friends in the class that you can go and meet with like once a week, twice a week, however often you guys think you need it and go over things together because generally bouncing ideas back and forth off of each other tends to do wonders and help a lot. I unfortunately can't do that because I'm intimidated by everyone in my class because it's a grad class and I'm 20. Yay. Another thing you can do is check if the TA comes to your class for one, two if you post notes to whatever the course webpage is. For example, in my class a TA shows up every single day writes the notes that the professor goes over in class and posts it online. Luckily, his handwriting is a lot better than my professor's. My professor's handwriting is crap. Let me... one second. So for reference, this is my professor's handwriting. It's not the worst, for sure. Like, there are things that you can make out in this, but for example, what we were having to do for a while involved, uh, this is a stats class, so it involved uh, poison distributions. And when he would write e to the negative whatever, kind of all just jumbled together, or when he would do root 2 pi e, you just kind of lose the 2 or the pi somewhere in there, and you couldn't really quite tell what he was writing. And that happens a lot, and... There'll be times that if I can't write fast enough to hear what he's saying, or I don't understand something he says, I can't look at his own notes that he writes on the board to check and see what it is that I missed or that I'm supposed to be putting down or anything like that, and it's just really frustrating. But yeah, so that's a couple of things that you can do. No, it's not great advice, but... It's one of those things that you just kind of have to deal with it, suck it up, try and get through the term, the semester, whatever it is that you're going through with it, and hope that you never have to see him again. You can always put it down in course evaluations at the end of the term that, yo, this professor has shitty handwriting, I can't understand a word he's saying, etc, etc. Maybe the school will look at it if enough people say or have complaints. Or they won't. Depends on your school. Um, so for example, right now, what I'm doing is that I am just kind of going through the textbook and writing down everything that we found in, or everything that we've covered, because we follow the textbook quite closely, which is nice. If we didn't, I'd be screwed, probably. I'm already screwed, let's be real. I need to pass this class. But yeah, it's awful and horrible to deal with, but it's something you just kind of have to deal with. It's one of those veins of college that's like, yeah, you're going to get foreign professors or professors that just can't write well or that mumble. And there isn't much that you can do about it. You can complain to a dean or the department head, but generally those professors are ones that have been there for a while or have high recognition or standing within the school. Um, and it will be kind of difficult to get anything done about it. You just have to put in more work outside of class which isn't ever fun. Trust me, it sucks. But it's a sacrifice you have to make if you want to pass the class. I'm not even saying get a good grade in the class if you want to pass. Um, the best part would probably be finding people that you can work with and who might understand him a bit better, might be able to read his handwriting a bit better, might just understand or grasp material a bit better than you do. 
and work with those people to try and figure out what's going on, how to do the problems, how to study, things like that. Generally, people are going to be your best bet. I hate having to say that because I hate people. But if you want to do well in school, you gotta collaborate. If you want to do good in life afterwards, you gotta collaborate. Do well if you want to do well in life afterwards. Where is it good? I don't know. My brain's fried. It's 4.30. I need to do things. Friends want to socialize tonight. I don't know if I'm going. I feel like I should. I haven't seen these people in a while and it'll be fun and a change of pace and relaxing, but I also have a crap ton of work to do. I need to get through this chapter by Monday. It is currently Saturday. This is going up hopefully the same day I record it. Should be. God knows I need to put more videos up. Um. So, this is my finals week, actually. Yeah. I have one final. It's okay. Um. But. I am back in New Hampshire then next week. Like, not this next. Yeah. I'm um, starting the 13th, actually. But I'll only have my laptop. Which, if you guys remember, that's crappy. I tried recording a video on it at one point. I think it was last fall, actually. Um, I'd gone to Ulta or something or Lancome or whatever. And I got in a couple of things of makeup. And I was like, I'm going to make a video and put this up. Because then I can do stuff while being on break. And... The audio was messed up, the video didn't show up, there was like a lot of weird colors going on the first time that I tried, and yeah, it was kind of a mess. So we'll see what exactly is going up on the channel. To be fair, after Monday, I'll be fine, because I can just say good riddance to the stats class and... Pretty much the only work that I have to do at that point is make a cheat sheet for my foundations in computer science class, which shouldn't be that bad because it's not my easiest class, but I understand it really well and I'm doing really well in the class. Like, he drops two of the five homework um, assignments and we've, yeah, two of the five. So I've done, I've done well on two of them. Then I did okay on another two. No matter what, I'm passing this class. It's really difficult for me not to pass the class at this point. No, it's not really difficult. It's impossible. Passing to 50. I have like a 49 or something. No. I have a 59. Yeah, I have a 59. Um... <sighs> yeah. So... I have one more homework due on Monday that I've already finished. I just have to have transcribe it onto another piece of paper because my homework is a mess when I first do it. But yeah, transcribe that into another piece of paper, turn that in on Monday morning, take this test Monday night. I have a test every day in this grad class. It's horrible. Take the test Monday night and then I just write up a cheat sheet for that class and even if I don't get a better score on the homework I'm turning in on Monday, I only need a 92 on the final to get an A in the class, which considering I got a 95 on the midterm and I still understand, like I'm still not confused, I'm still doing well, okay, maybe I'm not doing well in the homeworks. The reason why I got this one homework at 76 is because I messed up one problem by doing the wrong problem in the homework, or in the textbook, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna say I'm doing well in the homework. That one problem. Um. Or was I going with that? But yeah, so it should be easy to get that 92. So I'm not really too concerned about that class. My other class is um, social implications where I just have to like, you know, present on Tuesday, which presentations aren't that bad. I'll actually get out of class early because we only have two presentations and it's a two hour class and the presentations are like 20 minutes long. So I'm going to be getting out over an hour early. It's just, it's, it's been a long term. And the long part of the term is this fucking grad class, and I still have to take it for another term. Like, I'm complaining now about it, but like, next year, <laughs> next
next year I'm being really stupid. And pretty much every single class I'm taking is at the graduate level except for one class, which is psychology. It's a freshman level course. And then I have my uh, qualifying project fan for my major, which is going to be difficult. I'm trying to set that up right now. Not sure how it's going. We need to find professors that actually like us to do the project with us. But yeah, I'm just slowly dying right now. This video is not going to be- Okay, it's going to be edited because there's that one point where I stand up to grab a piece of paper and come back. But that's all the editing it's going to get. I just... Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm dying. And I'm going to die again next term. But, actually maybe not. Because... How my school has this set up for graduate to undergraduate courses is that going full time at the graduate level is three grad courses. Three. To go full time at the undergrad undergraduate level with how graduate courses transfer over credit wise, I'd have to take four. Do you know how stupid that is? If you answered very, you're correct. <sighs> so yeah. Um, but for me to get everything to line up and not be considered underloading this term, which is fucking stupid that I can underload while taking two grad courses, um, I had to do, well, one of my grad courses is only one six or it's one credit, which equals one six of a unit because the undergraduate is in units and you have to complete three units. Nope. You have to create one unit per term. So I need to create, do two units for the semester. And so one graduate course is one sixth of a unit. So to get up to that, to the regular one third, because our courses are normally counted as one third of a unit, like a full standard, like foundations in computer science, is one third of a unit. I'm taking a lab next term to counteract that because the lab is one sixth of a unit as well. So there's one third of a unit. Then I'm taking two gym courses this term to equal another one sixth of a unit to counteract the extra six of a unit on my other grad course, which is a half of a unit, or three grad credits. So a third plus a six equals a half. So two gym courses equal another one third of a unit plus another third of a unit with the grad course. And then I have my two regular undergraduate courses right now. So like, this term has been hellish because I've had two gym courses, two undergra undergraduate classes, my full three credit graduate course, and then a wimpy one credit graduate course that I just show up for an hour and I actually skipped it two days ago. I didn't have time for that shit. But yeah, so that's what I've been dealing with. But next term it's going to be a lot easier. Um, the lab is only for three weeks, which is really nice because three weeks instead of seven. Yes, please. And then I'm taking one undergraduate course. That means twice a week. And then the two graduate courses. So it's still four courses technically, but it drops down to three by the end of the term or by the middle of the term. And one of those is just the wimpy graduate course that I show up for once a week. I actually need to make that presentation over break. I'm presenting in two weeks in that class. Yay. And then the other one is the hellish stats class. But that means I'll have a lot more time because I won't have four hours each week that I'm having to go to the gym to do gym classes. So that gives me an extra four hours right there. Then you take off the time that it takes for that lab in the end part of the term. Yeah, it should it shouldn't be as bad. Shouldn't be as bad. Hopefully. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, I'm going to end that off here. This turned mostly into a rant instead of talking about professors, so I'm going to label it as a rant. Whatever. Anyways, have yourself a magical day. I hope you survive whatever college or school things you are going through or anything that you're dealing with in life. I shall see you next time. Bye.